So, if you're on a waiting list, well, when I hear your story and it seems like a good fit, and we can kind of predict that maybe some people will be done and we can get you in, then being on the waiting list, and what I ask that is people call like once a month just to check in. This also is a factor in the algorithm. If people keep calling back saying they want in, then they're more likely to get in. Um, there are people that have already gotten someone else for a therapist, which is great. So the thing is if they're not calling in, so I kind of put a little check mark there. Um, and then also cost and insurance. If insurance, if I'm part of your plan, that's great. So it's about these things lining up. And so say like people are done and they want to come back. Well, I can usually fit an emergency or an urgent follow-up somewhere there because I try to keep some of my schedule open. This is another big thing to say is you will go online, you can be totally new, you hear on the phone that I have a waiting list and then you go, but he has these appointments open. I can see it on the schedule. That doesn't really mean anything. What it's there for is the people that I am seeing. Maybe I have 40 active clients or 30, I, you know, and they just haven't scheduled yet. And if I let you schedule, now I have 41. And if I let these other people, now I have 50. Then what will happen is the quality of care will go down because they can't possibly help 50 clients and keep all their stories straight. And second of all is you may only get in every other week because people didn't think to schedule ahead and so it all begins to deteriorate so that's why I'm different than maybe other therapists you've been to in that if you come we try to schedule all those sessions out in advance and it works pretty well people get what they need and then when they're done they leave and a lot of times they're very satisfied